Then I had to talk him into hiring me because I had no experience. And and I so I lied and said that I did and just did my best and got the job. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Katie Darrell, and now listen, Terry Nunn of Berlin is here today. What's going on, girl? Hi, good morning. I'm, we're trying to drink coffee and wake up. I mean, that is a thing. Are you someone, do you roll out of bed with like pep in your step or are you kind of, I got to roll out slow? I don't roll out of bed early at all. That's why I like my job because it's at night. You know? I know, right? Yeah, we don't have to get up early in the morning. That's not good for me. I'm not a morning person. Coffee is essential. All right, Terry, so your summer is jam-packed. There is fun on the horizon. You're hitting the road, which is great news for all the fans of Berlin, but also fans of uh, Boy George and Culture Club and Howard Jones. Uh, tell me about this lineup and what's actually getting you motivated and excited. We did a couple of shows with Culture Club earlier, uh, end of last year and beginning of this year, and it went so well. We got along so well, the bands and the crews and the shows were great. And uh, yeah, I, so when they called us, it was an instant yes, because it's a long time, a, a tour, you know, of, yeah. we're doing the States and Australia. So it's it's over two months of, of, of shows and you got to get along, you know, because, right. you, you know, it's hard enough out there. You're moving around. It's like a circus, you know. Mm -hmm. They're iconic bands, and it's it's a privilege to to play with them. Are you um are you a side stage type of gal? Like when when the other bands, when Culture Club and Boy George are up there performing, do you like to stand side stage and kind of watch? Um, I do. and enjoy the performance. I do. I like standing side stage because then you can see what the crowd's doing at the same time. You know, yeah. and that's just it's so exciting when I bring my friends over to the side of the stage and they get to see what we're seeing. There's this energy that's going on. That's why I love concerts. It's yeah. it's better than drugs. It's just the feeling, the the, the movement, the letting it into me and, and the people and getting to be all together and we're all in love and it's just a, ah, you know, it's 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 pretty I I I love concerts. Now I would imagine it's hard for you to actually though get out and be in the crowd, in in front of the stage, because people recognize you. I mean, you've got a very distinguished, uh, beautiful look, so it's not easy for you to walk through the crowd and not all of a sudden get bombarded with selfies, right? Like, will people find you at the merch booth at all, or do you have to just keep it backstage? Yeah, I have to keep it backstage, yeah. <laughs> if you want to see them, yeah, yeah, yeah. you do, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a great tour, and Berlin has just had such a great career. The longevity for, for not just the band, but the songs. These are songs that, listen, at Access TV, we we describe the music of Berlin um, as timeless music. Mm. You know, the, the, this, these are songs that pop on and become earworms to this day. Did you, I mean, listen, as a little girl in your bedroom, dancing around with a, a comb as a microphone before your the stardom hit, did you, did you think that this was going to be the career forever? I wanted it to be a career, yeah. I had no idea if I could possibly make a living doing it, you know? So it took me until about, I started looking for a band seriously at 18 and met John at the end of that year. And he was already doing Berlin. And this, he started in 1977. Woo! So Berlin, we celebrated 45 years of Berlin's existence. And for me, it's 40 years in my life. What were you looking for in a band? You know, what, what was the checklist? What was in your heart that you needed to find to be like, okay, I'll jam with these guys? I was looking for a unique, because I really like unique. I like something that doesn't sound like everybody else, like Pink Floyd, like the B-52s, you know, bands that they don't sound like anybody else. And, and to me, that's so courageous. So it was one of the things that John, I'm glad you brought that up, is John put that in the ad. We didn't have the internet back then, this was 1978. So I would go to this place and they had notebooks of bands looking for singers, singers looking for bands, etc., etc. And his ad said, we are unique. 
And I, okay, this is cool. So then I, he sent me a tape. And I'm hearing this like electronic stuff. We didn't have, that wasn't going on in America then. We had punk, but we didn't have all the synthesizer stuff at all. So he was doing something completely different. And I really liked his aesthetic. He was dark and it was moody and I was dark and moody. It would, it was a good fit. So then I had to talk him into hiring me because I had no experience. Yeah. And, and I, so I lied and said that I did and just did my best and got the job. <laughs> Unique is a great word to describe Berlin, especially like, listen, it, it, I, I say, listen, Berlin for dummies, put on the Metro. That is a great song to kind of really be your gateway drug to Berlin. Um, yeah. The the electro is there and your vocals are so special on this track, especially just the way you say Metro and it's like, oh, it goes, I, I can't sing, so I'm not even gonna try, but the up and down, um, it, it's just so special mm. and unique. Do you remember being in the recording studio and, you know, working through this song and finally finishing it? And, and how did it feel? I remember that when we did finish it, it was finally we found our identity. We'd been looking, we'd been trying stuff, writing songs, doing this electronic thing. We had one synthesizer because they were really expensive and there weren't many of them. And we were trying all of, you know, just trying to make, okay, what's Berlin? We love Ultravox, we love Kraftwerk, we love what's happening overseas. What are we here in America? And that song, when we finished it, it was like, that's it. That's, that's the benchmark. That's yeah. what we want Berlin to be. Everything we're gonna judge with that because it's dark, it's weird, it's sexy, it's, different, never heard anything like it. So that that was kind of where we finally found our identity, was the Metro. The tour has a name. It's the Letting It Go Show. What does it mean to you to let go? Well, it's basically the nice way of saying, let that shit go. Just let that shit go, you know? And enjoy your life. It's That's what it's all for. That's the whole point. Stop and, and smell it and taste it and let that shit go. That's, that's what it means. The Letting It Go show with Berlin, <laughs> Culture Club, Boy George, Howard Jones. Tickets are available now. Terry, have fun out there on the road, man. Enjoy it. Thank you. I love your energy. Thank you for including me. Hey there. Thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.